The first step of heart-focused breathing for people in the Western world is the most difficult. Because the first step is to shift your awareness from your mind to your heart. And for most people in the West, maybe not you, but for most people in the West, we are so accustomed to being in our mind that when I ask you, please shift your awareness to your heart, you're still in your mind thinking about what it would be like if you were in your heart. But it's happening in your mind. So the question is, how do we move into our heart? This is one of the reasons why I have spent time with the indigenous people, with the monks and the nuns in the monasteries, with the shaman and the native people, because they all begin their process in their hearts. And I say, how do you do that? How do you move from your mind into your heart? So I'd like to share I'd like to share a technique that the monks, the nuns, the shaman, the native people have used, also is used in the pre-Christian and many Christian traditions as well as other spiritual and religious traditions. What they do is they will touch their heart center in a way that is comfortable to them. One finger, two fingers. Some will use a hand like this. If you're a Buddhist, you do this. Many Christian people do this. Here's the idea. This is so interesting to me. When you touch your heart center, your awareness will automatically go to the place where your body feels the sensation. So when you do this, your awareness automatically goes to this place. Now, if this does not feel appropriate, please don't do it. It's up to you. If, if, it's not, if it doesn't feel appropriate to touch your, your heart center, simply move your awareness, allow your awareness to move to your heart. This is the first step, the technique. The second step is to begin to breathe from the place where you feel the sensation. Begin to breathe from your heart center a little bit slower than you normally would. Maybe five seconds inhale, five seconds exhale. Okay. So the first step, focus your attention in the area of your heart. The second step, imagine your breath flowing in and out of your heart or your chest. And breathe a little bit slower and a little bit deeper than usual. The only time your body is used to having you breathe slower, inhale and exhale, is when everything is okay. So when you focus your awareness in your heart and you begin to breathe a little bit slower, that is the signal to your heart that says, ah, this must be a safe place. And that begins to interrupt that stress response. And you're going to see later in the day it begins a chemical reaction, a chain reaction in your body of over 1,400 biochemical reactions begin from this first step right here. Now, later in the day, we will build on this step. We will do more. This is the first step. 1,400 biochemical reactions begin by focusing your awareness, move it from your mind into your heart and gently begin to breathe from your heart center. There it is.
I'm going to use just a little sound in the background because it will average out all of the other sounds. This is a very powerful first step. We will build on this and use this throughout the day. So I'm gonna invite you now for the very first step. You won't need to take any notes. You can put your notebook down. No notes, no iPad, no iPod, no cell phone, no computer. <laughs> if you'd like to try this. So if you want to leave your eyes open, you may. If you'd like to close your eyes, that is good as well. I'm gonna invite you, the first step is if you can shift your awareness from your mind into your heart. And one technique to do that, if it feels appropriate, is to gently touch your heart center in a way that is comfortable for you. and allow your awareness to move to the place where you feel the sensation. And from that place, the second step is to begin to breathe a little slower than usual. Approximately five seconds in, five seconds out. And breathe as if the breath is coming from your heart. And continue to breathe in this way for just, just a couple of moments. Take one more deep breath. Okay, and gently begin to open your eyes. Okay. Were you able to move into your heart easily in the room? This is a deceptively powerful step. Please do not be deceived by the simplicity of this step. It is the first step in the healing of the physical body because it is the first signal between the heart and the brain that it is safe to release the healing chemistry. In just a little while, we're going to meet people who have lived to advanced ages well over 100 years old. And the only way they've been able to achieve the longevity and the health is to manage the emotions in their heart. And I think you'll be amazed at what these people are experiencing. <laughs> 